Today, I feel like quitting. I am heartbroken that I even have to share this with you. In 2016, I was blessed to win an award for Best Gospel Artist at the Dove Awards. Many of you may not know the Dove Awards in comparison are the Christian Grammys, like the Stella Awards or the Gospel Grammys. For so long, the terms Christian and Gospel for many are code words for white and black, which history may teach us was a setup for this unfortunate place we find ourselves in today. During that award speech, I felt the responsibility as a Christian and a man of color to address the civil unrest at that time that was plaguing our country with the killings of Philando Castile and Walter Scott, just to name a few, by white police officers. And at the same time, the horrific killings of five Dallas police officers by an African-American. I called upon the audience to join me in remembering that as Christians, when we say nothing, we're saying something. After a standing ovation, we prayed and stood in unity for all the families affected by those tragedies. We all felt that moment that it was a shift in the climate of our separate worlds. Unfortunately, when that speech aired on the Christian network TBN, that part of my speech was edited out. I made my disappointment and frustration known to the Double Wards Committee and to the Trinity Broadcasting Network. I never heard from TBN. And the Devil War Committee promised to rectify the mistake so that it wouldn't happen again. In 2019, history repeated itself. I was humbled to win the same award. And during my speech, I brought attention to the murder of a Tatiana Jefferson in her home by a white police officer. I asked everyone in the audience and those viewing to join me in prayer for not only a Tatiana's family, including her eight year old nephew who witnessed the killing but also for the family of the police officer. Last week, during the airing of the awards on the same network again, that part of my speech was edited out. So now, after a meeting with the Double Wards Committee and representatives of TBN, I've made the decision after prayer, consultation with my team and my pastor, Dr. Tony Evans, to not attend any events affiliated with or for the Double Wards, Gospel Music Association, or TBN until tangible plans are put in place to protect and champion diversity, especially where people of color have contributed their gifts, talents, and finances to help build the viability of these institutions. I am aware that the word boycott often has a negative connotation and finality to it, but my goal will forever be reconciliation as well as accountability. It is important for those in charge to be informed. Not only did they edit my speech, they edited the African-American experience. I'm not asking those in the gospel community to follow my decision. No, this is my personal choice to take a stand and hold responsible those in positions of power to acknowledge the issues in our separate communities that have existed from colonialism to Jim Crow. To many of the issues facing us today, I pray there will be a significant change from this hurtful experience. I look with anticipation for that day of healing and I'm committed to contributing to that process. In the end, we will not remember the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends.